All right, here's the plan. I'm going to try and dispel the magic in this room. If it works, the doors will likely open, and all of our buff spells will also be dispelled. If that happens, we'll try and go through the teleporter we used to get here, return to a safer area, and then rest and recuperate, returning once our spells have been recast. And if we cannot return to the previous level, then we shall fight where we stand, and face the Dark God with all of our might as it is. Personally, I like the whole getting away in the teleporter thing, but if we can't, we'll do what we must. I'm ready, Rune, and I'm sure everyone else is too. Do it. All right. The doors are open, our spells are gone. All right, it's still there. Best to be safe rather than sorry. Indeed, Rune. Let's rest and get our spells back, and return all the more ready. Indeed. Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play The Eye of the Beholder 3, Assault on Mithranor. And we last we left off, we've opened the way to the fourth level proper. And we definitely need to be ready if we're going to be fighting there. We need our spiritual hammers, we need aid spells, we also need Mordekainen's sword. And we also need to remember that one of the foes that we're going to be fighting on that floor are Death Knights. Now, we encountered Death Knights in either Beholder 1, and they were really tricky there, too. Let's remember that they can fire fireballs and keep our distance from them, and make sure we keep moving. Those wolves appear to be made of shadow! They are the literal conjuration of the Dark God's evil, and they must be stopped. They're fast, and numerous, but they fall to Badao Zimmer. The Thander's holy blade serves us well. Indeed it does. Let's quickly find the Dark God and put an end to his schemes. Now we haven't found any- Never mind! There's a Death Knight. Now remember how difficult they were in Eye of the Beholder 1? And consider that we are defeating them with a single all attack. Now, having all attack is really useful because it means that we can just attack so much more efficiently. In either Beholder 1, if you remember, we had to click attack, 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 while I was trying to dodge, which made the whole thing a lot more tricky. That said, we are hitting undead for about 35 damage using Madao Zimmer. That does make a huge difference. We've explored down in- well, got to be careful here because there are going to be quite a few you Death Knights. And we're... Oh, you're behind us! Ha <laughs> ha! You tried, you failed. Now, what does this do? The party is already under the influence of a prayer spell. Right, so we have ready access to prayer whenever we need it. Good to know. Now, let's move forward and consider that this place is not safe. They're going to fire things at us, aren't they? I'm pretty sure of it. We've got past experience with such traps. And there's a key there that we could use. Maybe we can stay in the middle area. Let's move. Oh, I do not want to get hit by any of them. You're not the only one. And there are some foes. Quite a few of those wolves. The Dark God's power is truly great. Hopefully, those will be disabled, those traps, when we've cleared this place of the Dark God's evil influence. Now, there is a thing for a key. And we can- oh, careful! And we can go north or south. And I'm gonna go south first, just to explore and see what we can find. Like some goodies here! There is a spear, and a hammer of throwing! Okay, we have found something good here. We found something really good. Let us uh, identify the hammer of throwing. This is a plus three hammer of throwing, which means that we don't need to have spiritual hammer prepared for Rex anymore. As for the spear, this is a spear plus four. Pretty good! 
but not as good as that Halberd plus 5, really. That Halberd plus 5 is something else. Consider that we got plus 5 weapons in either Beholder 1, and the first instance of finding one outside of either Beholder 1 is the ultimate weapon in Eye of the Beholder 3. We didn't find any plus 5 weaponry in Eye of the Beholder 2. Now let us head north and be very cautious about it. There's an area over here. This contains nothing that I can see. What about over here? Over here is... Ooh, stuff. A mage scroll of fireball, that's a curious thing to see, and another key. Now, we need room for this key. We'll have you hold it, Rex, and we'll head this way. Be wary. There could be enemies, like those ones, anywhere. And they attack quickly. Here is a mage scroll of disintegrate. Quite a nice thing to have. We'll get rid of this scroll of hold monster. And this. A coin. I wonder what a coin's doing here. Clearly it must be important for something. We should make room for it. What can we drop? We could drop one of these shields. We do not need this. We will need that coin. <laughs> it's funny. What's funny, Sandstar? Any other person would look at the shield and think, No, that's way more valuable! But look at us! Seeing that there is a coin there and immediately presuming this thing must be super important to solving a puzzle or something. And so we drop the magical shield and we take an entirely mundane coin with us. It's just peculiar. I suppose it is in a way. Now we need to backtrack back to here. And note that there are probably loads of enemies behind this door. Or this pair of doors, rather. So, we shall save, and we shall open the door using one of the crystal keys. And then, we'll go here so that we can uh, not be attacked on both sides by those wolves. There are quite a few of them, though. There are loads of them. And that being a very long corridor means that our uh, throwing hammers aren't coming back very quickly. There are more of them. And now you're gone. Is that all of them? It might be. Nope, never mind, there's more of them. They just keep coming. Truly, the Dark God's power has grown strong indeed. Then we must act quickly to stop it. I wonder if these will just keep appearing, and if they do, this is a good source of uh, experience. An unlimited source, if you will. Or this room could just be full of the uh, Shadow Hounds. The water in this basin carries the blessing of Lathander's spirit, or what little is left of his spirit in this foul place. That's useful. We could always do with... Uh, more buffs. There's a door here. And over here is another one of those. We're not going to use that right now. We are going to save, though, because this is definitely a dangerous place to be. Okay. Oh! Hello! We're just going to use uh, these hammers here. Then we're going to defeat two Death Knights in one all-attack action. Now, what do we have to do with this? Oh, that came down from there. It's a shield, and it looks like a very powerful one at that. We should hold on to this. Indeed. Is there something else that we can drop? Probably. We can drop this shield. It's not as important as that one. I've heard rumor of it. It's something called the Sun Mask, and is a powerful item indeed. Then let us keep it close, and hope that we don't have to use it. We're probably going to have to use it. Oh yes, we're going to have to use it. 
for this being one of the higher levels in the Temple of Lathander, the enemies aren't that tricky. Okay, granted, the Death Knights are tricky if they can get their fireballs off. Uh, they haven't yet got those off. Now, this is where we're going to need to use a crystal key, and hopefully we'll find another one just in case we have to open up another door. And there are loads of Death Knights on the other side of that door, and I believe you're holding onto that. Let's say hello to them. There you are. Don't fire any fireballs at us. You're gone. You're gone. I can take all of you on. Come and get me. Don't taunt the Death Knight, Sandstar. Ooh, that was a nasty hit. Ow! That's what you get for taunting them. Now, there's you. We'll just stay back. Aha! Lilamba is level 13. Does this mean that you have access to... No, you don't have access to level 7 spells, and that is a pity. You do have access to quite a few more of these spells, though. Another Cure Light. We could give you... let's see... how about more Resist Fire and Cold? How about... we have three more of these. Protection from Fire, Negative Plane Protection, and... a... another Negative Plane Protection? Two more of these will give you a uh, another two Cure Serious Wounds, and that should do. And while I'm thinking about it, you no longer need any Spiritual Hammers, which means that you can now prepare a Slow Poison... no, you don't need that. Some of those. Marvellous. Now, what was in here that made fighting all of them... Hmm... There's something amiss here. We're being teleported away. Whatever's there, we're not going to get it easily. Let's return to there later, and hope that we figure out how to get past that. Hopefully we won't find more Death Knights down here. Oh, who am I kidding? We're going to find more of them, aren't we? Most likely. You're already under the influence of an aid spell, despite the fact that you don't have any... Ah, true seeing has expired, which... Probably means that prayer's about to expire as well. Let's be careful and explore around here with great caution. Ah, this requires a key. Have we used a key in the wrong location? We may very well have done so. Because we can't open that because we don't have another crystal key. Just gonna double check, we don't have one, no. Okay. And we have that shield. And there's nothing here that we can do. No, nothing here that... Do we have to use the other one as well? There was one on the, uh northern side of this area, do we have to use that one? We've used it! Has that changed anything? No, no it hasn't. So, something has to be done with this area up here. Because there's that in there, and it doesn't seem like there's much else. Can we throw something? <whistles> Aha! That appears to have done the trick. We're in. But we don't know if we wanted to actually be in here. There just appears to be an entirely unremarkable stick. Oh, that is not unremarkable. This is the Staff of Life. I think we're going to need this if we're going to get to the Dark God. How do you know it's the Staff of Life? I just... Knew when I picked it up. The magic is strong within it. I hear more death knights. Oh, I hear them too. Let's see if that has made any difference over here. No, it doesn't appear to have done so. Has it made a difference down here? What are we going to use the Staff of Life on? 
That's a good point. Does it have to be used? We could try and use it. I'm going to save, just in case this is a terrible idea. It's probably a terrible idea. We're going to give the Staff of Life to you, and you can hold on to Dao Zimmer, and we'll use it. It's a weapon, by the looks of it. Okay, it's a weapon. That's not quite what I was hoping it would be. And we are down a key. We need a key to open up this door. Unless we can use this to get in? No, no, we actually need to use a key. We don't have one, though. This is when the game goes, Hey, did you not use that key that you got way earlier on in the game? The crystal key that you can use to open up the place where Father John is? If you didn't, you can get into here! I wouldn't be surprised if the game threw something like that at you. Because the keys don't seem to be uh, locked off, as it were, to only being used in certain areas. The crystal keys can be used to unlock any crystal lock. And we've encountered a fair few crystal locks. Now we've cast that, we've cast that, we haven't cast this, and we haven't cast all of these. Maybe there's an enemy that we haven't fought yet that has the key that we're looking for. Or maybe I've just missed out on a location with a key. That is actually quite possible. There could very well have been a key in... Uh, one of the uh, alcoves with all of that deadly lightning that I managed to avoid. Or there could be something... Nope, nothing around here. I'm just having a look around just in case, but I don't think there's anything. Nothing here. This is where we found that shield. Do we need to have the shield equipped and then something happens? No. Does seem like a rather important shield, though. It seems like a very important shield. And there was nothing over here. And then the party got lost forever. It could happen. Also, I can hear a death knight, but I can't see a death knight. Where are all of these death knights? Are they on the other side? Have they all reappeared over there? They probably have. Do we need this bag of incense? Probably not, but I'll keep it with me. I'm actually going to go back to the area where we uh, first encountered all the Death Knights and see if they have the key I'm looking for. So I'm going to go this way and over here, which brings us back to here. Now, up here, I think, is where all of these enemies are. Maybe? Are you over here? It sounded like you were over here, but no. There are no enemies here at all. I am just being deceived. As we found the first time in a long time that I don't know where I can find a key. Because I think I've been pretty much everywhere. And yet we're still missing a key. Now, this is the way back to the area full of doom. Full of massive amounts of doom, and there's nothing there. And they all activate, and then fire off. And we see them all fire off there. And moving there also fires them off. Basically, moving in that area sets off every single one of those traps. And so we're back here. We're missing a key. Did anyone see a key lying around somewhere? I haven't seen one. We're definitely going to have to find it. Or we'll have to get that key back from the lock that we used it on before. Can we even do that? I'm not quite sure. But so far, that may be our only option. Indeed. Much as I hate to admit it, we're going to need that key. And so, when we come back, folks... We're so close! I can feel that we are so close to figuring out just where we need to hang on. Hang on. 
I've just had a thought. There was over here this niche. Can we put something in it? No, the coin isn't going to work. Aha! <laughs> yes! I knew it! I knew the coin would be used for something important! And there it is! We have the key that we need! It's so strange how adventuring goes sometimes. Yes, indeed, but I am very happy that we have this. And so now we can go to the other location and go and get that door open. The coin was what we needed in the end. Now, who's holding on to that key? I believe it is you. Let's open this up and see. Well, there are loads of enemies in here, surprising no one. Let us deal with you. Rex is level 11. Okay, let us get those spells ready. We have one extra third, extra fourth, and a sixth level spell. Heal for sure. We want a Cure Serious, and you also get one of these, so we'll have another Cure Light. And we will have one negative Plane Protection. There we go. And there are more of these wolves, because of course there are. There are loads of them, actually, but they will all fall because we are extremely powerful. And there's this here. I wonder what that is. Hmm. When we come back, folks, we will find out exactly what this is. And then we will, hopefully, get to the end of the game. I think we're so close. We have to be close. We just have to figure out what to do with this. Maybe we need to do something involving that orb that we picked up quite a while ago. The morning's light. Possibly. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.